They were flying as we normally do with two aircraft together. And uh, as they went in, encountered bad weather, made the decision that it, uh, to wave off and to uh, abort the training mission. Uh, at that point, the, uh, the one helicopter obviously made it back when they determined that the second helicopter was not uh, back with them in that return. Uh, they immediately uh, started, uh, literally within 30 minutes of, noti of notice that it was missing, went back in in order to uh, begin uh, search operations to find out what happened to the helicopter. The, the training that they were doing involved uh, inserting via helicopter using fast ropes to then uh, go into the water and then move you know, from the water to the land. And, Typically we do this for reconnaissance missions or we have a, a wide variety of insertion and extraction techniques that uh, they have in order to conduct missions for the theater commanders for whom they work when they do deploy. And in this case, uh, the question about, you know, had they done it before, they literally had done it uh, hours before in daylight as part of uh, the rehearsal for being able to do the uh, nighttime operations, which inherently are more difficult than daylight operations. So yes, they had, uh, they had just very recently done it. It is a very uh, tight uh, organization, and uh, many of these Marines and sailors associated with MARSOC are more senior Marines. Uh, the families are all very close. In this particular case, they were all from the same team, so they were very, very close. 